Hi, I'm Jenny Sun, product manager in AR. Hi, I'm Ben King, software engineer in AR. And I am Liz Lee, product manager in Google Maps. Today, we're going to share a game-changing way to expand your audience reach and connect with new users through geospatial AR content. Whether you're an institution, brand, local business, or a creator with a great idea, we're here to help you create your awesome ideas and showcase them to the world. With geospatial AR, developers and creators can blend digital content seamlessly with the real world transforming the way we interact with our surroundings. Now, you can embed hidden layers of knowledge and insights directly into the world around you, making an ordinary space an extraordinary adventure. Last year, we launched Geospatial Creator, powered by AR Core and Google Maps platform, in both Adobe and Unity. Geospatial Creator enables developers and creators alike to easily create world-anchored, immersive experiences in minutes with no coding abilities required. Content creators can visualize a remote location through photorealistic 3D tiles and anchor location-based AR content precisely in over 50 countries. Since the launch of Geospatial Creator last year, we have been impressed by the many incredible AR creations you've shared through social media and Google's immersive geospatial challenge. So, congratulations to you for all the innovative AR projects and content you have brought to life. Your AR innovation pushes the boundaries of industries across art, entertainment, gaming, live events, shopping, social media, travel, and much more. We are committed to making your experience even better. That's why today, we're rolling out a number of updates to improve content creation performance and efficiency with Geospatial Creator. First, we're excited to announce that Geospatial Creator in Adobe Aero is now available to everyone. This means no more waitlist, Creators worldwide can jump in and start building world-scale AR experiences today. This release also improved localization and anchor accuracy, ensuring your AR creation is placed with even greater precision. Second, developers will be excited to know that now you can create and adjust anchors at scale within the Unity editor using the C-sharp programming language. Want to place the same digital object across multiple locations? It's as easy as a few lines of code. This opens up possibilities for brands and businesses to easily anchor content at all of your locations. To learn more about this exciting new feature, be sure to watch our AR workshop built with Geospatial Creator and Places API from Google Maps platform. Besides continuing to make content creation easier, we know how hard it is to reach the right audience with your amazing AR content. Traditional methods are time-consuming, costly, and don't always hit the right audience. And convincing people to download yet another app is also a major hurdle. Well, we're about to make it easier for you. This year, we're excited to run a pilot program to bring select partners' incredible AR experiences directly into Google Maps. Over 1 billion people worldwide rely on Google Maps to get to their destinations and discover the world around them. Soon, users in select cities will see your geospatial AR creations when they're looking for places to go and things to do on Google Maps in our initial six-month pilot. In today's session, Ben will guide you through the AR content creation process with Geospatial Creator and share some geospatial content best practices. He will also cover how to prepare your content into lightweight GLTF file formats that can be rendered on Google Maps. Then, Liz will walk you through how users will see your content on Google Maps, whether they're on location or 
remote. We will also show some awesome examples from our pilot partners who will bring their geospatial AR content in Google Maps to change how we explore and experience places. Over to you, Ben. Let's dive in. Thanks, Jenny. To get started, you can use Geospatial Creator in either Adobe Aero or Unity. For Adobe Aero, make sure you install Adobe Aero and sign up with an Adobe Creative Cloud account. For Unity, make sure you have installed the latest Aero Core extensions for Unity and Unity's AR Foundation framework. Once you've got your tools set up, you can start building geospatial AR content. For more information, visit our website to learn about our resources for building with Geospatial Creator. To help you create some of the most stunning AR experiences, let me share a few essential tips to make content that will truly resonate with your audience. Whether you're a seasoned creator or just getting started, these best practices will help you build AR content with high impact. First, understand your target audience. What sparks their curiosity? How does your AR content tie into the location? Think about creating meaningful connections by addressing desires or interests unique to your chosen audience. Geospatial content is an incredible tool for building community and encouraging interaction. So consider the actions your audience will take after they've discovered your content. Next, find that sweet spot between utility and entertainment. Location-based AR can be incredibly informative. Examples include wayfinding, exploring local history, or travel tips. But don't forget the pure joy factor. Gamification and social sharing add an element of delight and engagement. And keep the content fresh. Consider tying your AR experience into the season, a holiday, or a local event to make it pop. When it comes to geospatial AR, location is your superpower. Think about tailoring your content to the specific location. Landmarks and neighborhoods all carry their unique vibe, so tap into that. When your AR content matches the narrative of your location, it will feel like it belongs. Safety is always a priority. Encourage a comfortable experience by thinking about where your content will be used and avoiding potentially unsafe locations. Consider your user's perspective. Where will they stand to launch your experience? How far away is the ideal distance to view your content? Watch out for things that might block the view, as moving objects or physical barriers can ruin the immersion. Craft your content to be shareworthy. When your content encourages people to snap and share, that can skyrocket your reach on social media. Lastly, the best AR is iterative. Don't be afraid to experiment, gather feedback, and refine your content to unlock its full potential. There is no substitute to testing in person to see how your content will look for your audience. I hope these tips help you create geospatial AR experiences that are informative, engaging, and make a lasting impression. Remember, it's about connecting with your audience in a way that's both meaningful and fun for them. Next, let's talk about the publishing flow and export process. This year, we are adding new capabilities to export 3D interactive projects from Adobe Aero and Unity directly into GLTF format. GLTF is an open standard 3D file format, which allows developers and creators to transmit 3D models, scenes, and interactivities. Pilot partners will be able to use this export feature to showcase their AR project directly on Google Maps, starting with some foundational interactivities, such as tap to interact and play music. One thing to keep in mind is to optimize your file size. We want these AR experiences to load lightning fast for users. For the best experience, we recommend keeping file sizes under 20 megabytes. If you find your file size being larger than 20 megabytes, try reducing the vertex counts of your 3D models or reducing the resolutions of your textures. Using compressed formats like WebP can also save a few megabytes. These steps will make your loading times faster and your content easier to engage with. After the content is approved, your AR experience will be accessed through a deep link URL, which brings users directly to the geospatial AR content in the Google Maps app. This URL can be shared via website, social media, or as a QR code. Plus, people will also find your content organically on Google Maps when searching for the associated point of interest. 
And with that, I'll pass it on to Liz to share the end user's experience on Google Maps. Thanks, Ben. So, what does the experience look like for a user? Let's walk through an example with one of our pilot partners, Singapore Tourism Board. Let's say you're planning a trip to Singapore with a friend in a few weeks. You're looking to plan a three-day trip and want a variety of activities on your itinerary, ranging from museums, cultural sites, photographic scenery, and local cuisine at delicious restaurants. As you begin researching things to do, you see that someone shared an AR tour of Gardens by the Bay on social media, and you're intrigued. Clicking on the AR tour link thus begins your own journey of virtually exploring Singapore. Google Maps will open, and you will be able to see the geospatial AR content remotely in Street View. This is an entirely new way to experience points of interest in Google Maps. In this example, you're seeing the must-view iconic Singapore landmark, Gardens by the Bay. Over the Street View imagery, you see a beautiful spread of giant, vibrant tulips growing all around the super tree grove towering over some of the canopies themselves. What a delight and a refreshing splash of color. It even tells you that there is a seasonal tulip mania event happening during your visit. Perfect timing. You're excited to check it out when you're there, so you save the location in your Singapore list and share with your friend who you're traveling with. Fast forward. Now you're in Singapore. Remember the beautiful gardens by the bay that you saved in your list to visit? It's finally time to go there in person. You and your friend open up Google Maps, zoom into gardens by the bay, and navigate there to see the super tree grove inside the gardens. Wow, these trees are really big. You tap on a photo on Gardens by the Bay business page to launch the AR camera experience where you can see the colorful trips growing right in front of you. It all feels so magical and dreamlike. You want to share this special moment with friends. So you share the link with the rest of your circle to see the experience either today remotely or one day in person. After enjoying impressive gardens by the bay, you're getting hungry. What should we eat? You want to eat somewhere with really good local food. Browsing Google Maps, you notice Maxwell Food Center nearby. You get curious to see what this place is and whether it is worth visiting. You open up business page to learn more about the place. You see that there is another geospatial AR content in the photo carousel, showing you all the food that you can get there. It looks so good, and you're getting even more hungry now. You decide that you'll eat here. So you start walking towards Maxwell Food Center. As you arrive at Maxwell Food Center, you're overwhelmed. It's much bigger than you thought, and there are so many places to choose from. You're not sure where to start. But wait a second. Remember those dish recommendations you saw earlier in Street View? You open up the food courts page, simply tap on the first photo to begin interacting with the AR content in Lens and Maps. Recommended dishes are showing up right where you are with your camera view. You can tap on each dish to learn more about it and where in the food center to get it. Decisions, decisions. Okay, you decided to go with 
Hainan Chicken Rice. You start walking towards the stall confidently. Hainan Chicken Rice, please. With a mix of helpful and delightful air content, we want creators, developers, local businesses, and brands to see how air content on Google Maps can be engaging, easy to use, and shareable for users. Now, back to you, Jenny. Thanks, Liz, for taking us on an inspiring ride across the world. Now, get ready, because geospatial AR content is coming to Google Maps. We're kicking off an early access program in Paris and Singapore this year as a six-month pilot. What about you? Are you ready to create inspiring geospatial content? If so, make sure to visit our geospatial creator website to learn more. Here at Google, we believe the world is your canvas and we hope geospatial technology will help you unlock your imagination. We can't wait to see the inspiring AR content you will create and the amazing AR world we will build together. Oh, 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 oh,